Hello, what is up guys? Today we're doing a video on how to pre-generate chunks for your Minecraft server uh, in 1.18. Now I say in 1.18, but this, this, this plugin I believe supports uh, anywhere from 1.13 onwards, so you can pretty much use this on any, any modern Minecraft server, as long as it supports uh, this plugin. Uh, now, first of all, why would you want to pre-generate chunks for your Minecraft world? Okay, so when you're starting up a Minecraft server, there's two things which tend to cause a lot of lag. Um, the first of, uh, is lots of entities, so having to take lots and lots of entities, so if you've got like hundreds of mobs all crammed into one space, uh, the server having to process the AI for all of those mobs is going to slow down the, the, the tick rate quite a lot. And also, especially uh, when you first start up the server and everyone's sort of uh, bunched together and they're all running out in different directions, um, the server can start to slow down a bit, especially because everyone's going different directions, all generating different chunks at different times, uh, and it's just it's just... It's it's quite a resource intensive thing, especially just for um for a Minecraft server where it's very very single threaded uh, performance wise. So what you can do to uh, combat this is pre generate chunks, and you can you can essentially just um, pre generate a certain radius like around uh, from the spawn point in your world uh, where you want the world to already be generated. So when you launch the server, uh, people aren't having to generate those chunks; they're already like written and saved to the save file and they can just load it, which is much, much easier on your computer uh, than having to generate those chunks from scratch and then write them uh, to, the, to the save file and then have like, the players like, load them. So it saves a lot of resources. All right, so getting right into it, basically. Uh, what you want to do is you can do this on any Spigot-compatible server. So if you're running uh, Spigot, if you're running Paper, if you're running uh, Purper, this is going to work. Uh, any, any Spigot fork server is going to be able to run this plugin. So I'll put this link in the description. And this is a link to the Spigot MC um, like plugins uh, repository, and it's here. It's called Chunky. So what you're going to want to do is you can uh, download the latest jar file for your server. Uh, I believe you can also go to version history and you can uh, download an older version if you need uh, that as well. So we can go all the way back to the first version of the plugin from 2020. But the latest version should be fine. You've also got the GitHub repository here as well, so you can read uh, the wiki if you want to learn more about this plugin in depth, and I'll put both these links in the description. All right, so getting right into it, what we're gonna do is we're going to download the latest jar file, and I'm gonna save this into my server pre-generation folder. I've already created a server for this video. Uh, you wanna save it to your in your server folder, um, you have your server jar, and then you wanna put it in plugins, and you wanna save it there. So once it's done downloading, and you have saved it, you can open up your server folder, and you can see we've got it in the plugins there. And you want to start your server up. Um, I'm not going to go over how to set up a Minecraft server in this video. I will do that in a separate video. And I'll have that linked in the card so you can check that out. Uh, but it's a pretty simple step. And I'm going to assume that you know it for this video. So what we're going to do is fire up your server. I'm going to use my script I've got here. And let it load. And then once it's loaded up, you'll see Chunky enabling Chunky 1.2.153, which is the version which I've installed. And you can confirm that by typing plugins in, and you'll see that Chunky is installed. All right, so getting right into it. How do we start pre-generating the map? Uh, so by default in Minecraft, uh, you will have a you have three folders. Uh, unless you've changed the name of the world, you have three folders. You have world, world underscore nether, and world underscore the underscore end. So you set the name of your world in the server.properties and it creates the overworld and then it creates the nether and end dimensions from that as well. So these, these are the three world names which you'll need. You'll need to know these because uh, you do need it in the syntax of some of these commands. Now what you can do is we can do this in game or we can do this in the server. I'm going to do it in game just as an example. Uh, but obviously all the commands you can type in the console here as well. Uh, you just have to um, not include the slash before them. All right, you can see we're connected to the server now. Uh, I'm going to quickly set my game mode to creative. And you can see completely fresh map. Just spawned in, 1.18. Uh, obviously, if we were to fly in one of those directions right now, we would have to start generating chunks, and that's going to start slowing down the server. You can see the server's running at 20 ticks per second, which, if you didn't know, is the tick rate which Minecraft servers run at. If you start generating lots of chunks, if you, especially if you've got lots of people, uh, that's going to start dropping and that's going to start making your server lag, which is obviously not good. So let's start generating some chunks. Um, so how do we do this? Uh, you can either use it in the console over here. You can type in uh, chunky and then you can get all the different commands there. Uh, or we can do it in game and we can do the commands from here. 
I'm going to do it in game just so we can see it in chat and it's a little bit easier. So the first command, you can see if you type in slash chunky, uh, we get a list of all the commands there. So if you ever need to know uh, the commands you've got and you're just in gamer in the console, you can type in slash chunky or slash chunky help and it will give you uh, a list of all the commands and expl explanations for what they will do. So let's start generating some chunks. Um, the command I'm going to show you here is slash chunky start. And now chunky start is basically, it just goes straight in and it will start generating whatever chunks, for whatever world you select. So you can do slash chunky star and then the name of the world. You remember you in the world, um, in our server folder here, we have the three worlds. You've got the overworld, nether, and end dimension. And those are the three world names. You can see it also prompts us here as well. So we do slash chunky star world. That'll be the name of the world we want to generate chunks for. And then the shape of the chunk generation. This plugin supports various different types of um, shapes for pre-generating the chunks in your world. Uh, I feel like circle and square are the most useful. Uh, but you can use all these other ones as well if you want. Um, so I'm going to do circle. We'll generate a circular region of chunks around from our world. Um, and then we choose the center. Uh, if we don't specify the center point, uh, it will start it from wherever we are right now. So you can see we're at, uh, right now we're at negative 5.5, 2.5. It will start generating chunks out from this exact block where we are right now. But if we don't do that, we can specify. So I would say I want to generate it from 0, 0, which is the absolute center of the Minecraft world. And then we need to specify the radius. Obviously, if we're doing a circle, we'll only need one radius value. Uh, but if you're doing a rectangle, for example, you can put in two uh, values for the X and the Y. So let's say I want to generate 500 blocks out from 0, 0 in a circular pattern in the world right now. I'll type in 500. So that'll be 500 blocks out from 0, 0 in a circular pattern in this world. And we'll hit enter. And we can, it wants us to confirm. So we'll type in slash chunky confirm. And it will go task start in a world for the circle region centered at 0, 0, radius 500. And you can see in the server console here, we're generating the chunks as we speak. And we've got a nice ETA. Uh, we've got the number of chunks and the percentage complete. Uh, and it also tells us the chunks per second that we're generating. We can also get this value any time, so we can do slash chunky progress, and it will show that in game as well if we want that. And you can see it's almost going to finish up here, actually. We're on 70, 76%. It's going to let this finish up. And there we go. Task finished for world, processed for about 4,225 chunks, 100% complete, and it only took us 32 seconds. Now, compared to some of the other uh, plugins out here, such as World Border and Fast Chunk, Fast Chunk Generator, uh, I found Chunky to be the fastest uh, method of generating chunks in your world. And you can see now, if we fly off in one of these directions, the chunks don't have to generate. You don't see them popping in. They're already there. They're already generated. The server isn't lagging at all. You can see, look at that. It's the new 1.18 terrain there. Generating completely fine with this plugin. And it's all loaded in. You can see the TPS didn't drop at all. Didn't lose any performance out of doing this. This especially works well on paper and purpose servers where you've got uh, asynchronous um, reading and writing from the disk and chunk generation performance as well. So uh, those optimization, optimizations definitely do help. Uh, I'm running paper myself here. You can see here I'm running um, paper myself, which I'd recommend that you do as well, paper or purpa. All right, so that's all cool. So, so we've generated 500 blocks out from zero, zero. That's pretty useful. Uh, obviously, we can uh, do this for any of the worlds as well. So we say we want to do that in the, say we want to do the nether. We can do world underscore nether. We want to generate, uh, let's say we want to do a thousand blocks out in the nether. We can do that as well. And you can see that starts over here. Uh, I found that the nether and the end seem to generate faster than the overworld, which is interesting, I suppose, because their, their chunk generation uh, algorithms are simpler. So you can see it starts off really, really fast, especially. And you can see we're doing that there. And say we want to stop at any time, say we want to shut down the server, we can do chunky pause, and that will pause the, all the jobs right now. And then we can shut down the server, it will all be safe. Um, and say we want, to, we want to give up this job, we don't want to um, generate any more chunks for the nether. We can do chunky cancel, and then we can do chunky confirm. So you confirm that we want to cancel the task because they can't be continued from and that will cancel all the tasks. And you can see if we type in chunky progress now, there's no tasks running. Uh, so if we start this again, for example, we'll start this task again, it will, it will pick up from where we left, left, off, uh, left off. So you can see it started from 2,400 chunks there because it recognizes uh, that we've already had those chunks generated in the world, which is a, 
a pretty good feature that I think, because this the plugin doesn't have to go back through and regenerate chunks which have already been generated. So we'll let this run for a bit, um, and I'll demonstrate now that you can also have concurrent tasks, so you can run multiple tasks at once. We can also say go here, and we can go to this, and select this, and do the end. And we'll say we want to generate 200 blocks out in the end in a circle pattern. In fact, you know what? Let's change it to a square. So let's generate 200 blocks out uh, from 0 to 0 in the end uh, in a square pattern. And we can start that, and you'll see that both are now running at the same time. Um, so we can generate with chunky. We can have multiple worlds being generated at once with uh, very little extra performance impact because um, Chunky and Paper uh, have a lot of optimizations for uh, using the multi-threaded uh, capabilities of modern processors. You can see if I open up uh, Task Manager here, we've got uh, the Minecraft server running, which is actually only using about 30%, 33-ish uh, percent of my processor. And if we go to CPU, it's actually utilizing more than one core, which is pretty good for Minecraft servers because they're known for being notoriously single-threaded. So you can leverage the performance of your, you know, high-performance modern processor uh, to pre-generate the chunks faster for your Minecraft world. So this is all well and good. You can see that if we uh, type in chunky progress, oh, can't spell, chunky progress now, you can see no tasks running because they've all completed. Uh, all those chunks which we've selected have finished and they've all generated now. Um, so say, for example, you want to trim the extra chunks off in a world. So you just want chunks in a certain uh, radius, in a certain shape, in a world generated, and you don't want anything past that. You can use a command which is part of Chunky called Chunky Trim. And Chunky Trim will essentially um, cull any extra chunks out of a radius uh, and just wipe them from the world file. Obviously, if there's stuff gener uh, like built in these chunks, you do probably don't want to do this and unless you want to have those lost, but if you only want to limit your map to a certain size, it can be pretty good for, you know, cutting off all the extra space which has been generated and you didn't want it. So let's say uh, we're out here in the Minecraft world, uh, let's teleport ourselves out, let's teleport ourselves out, say, 10,000 blocks, 10,000, 10,000, we're 10,000 blocks out in the world right now, um, and we've generated the chunks. That's kind of cool. We've just found a mushroom island. I did not expect that. That wasn't planned. Wow. Don't see these often. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> that wasn't part of the video. Um, let's teleport back to zero zero. Uh, back to zero zero. Okay. So we've generated those chunks out uh, at ten thousand blocks now. Let's trim them off. We don't want to. We don't want those to be there anymore. So we can do chunky trim world. Uh, I'm going to do it in a circular pattern, and I want to limit this to. Uh, we'll do it from zero zero, and I want to limit it to five hundred blocks from zero zero in a circular pattern. Uh, I want any chunks outside that to be trimmed off of the world file, and I want them to be deleted. We'll hit enter on this, and we'll get a big warning in red here because obviously uh, chunks are going to be uh, deleted. Uh, so it's going to warn you, so you don't accidentally just like instantly like nuke chunks outside of a certain area. Um, we'll do slash chunky confirm to confirm that, and it will delete. As you can see, it said delete deleted nineteen thousand five hundred nineteen chunks from outside the world in zero point zero seven eight seconds. That's pretty fast. There we go. The world's instantly been um, culled, and now the there's no chunks outside of the radius we've set uh, generated on this map file. So there we go. That's a basic on how to pre-generate chunks for your Minecraft world, and also how to use the trim command as well if you want to remove them. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you did find it helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment uh, with any thoughts. If you want to see more tutorials like this, more videos like this, uh, please be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.